Here's something I learned this morning from Eric Hagen. Check him out on YouTube. That's H-A-U-G-E-N. And a keyboard player friend of his showed him this really cool thing that if you play a minor chord and you restrict yourself to triads, that's just three notes at a time, you can get a lot out of just playing the major chord that's right below. Check it out. So all I'm really doing is I'm visualizing this A minor here and this G here, but I'm, I'm doing the different inversions. And pretty much any time you're in a minor key, you can rely on the major chord that's right below it to do this. So there's a piece of the A minor and a piece of the G. I'm on fret five and then fret three, the second finger on four. And then I move to the next set of strings, which is the B, the G, and the D string. And see that piece of the A minor. And see that piece of the G. Move over again to G, D, and A. And then this last one's kind of unique. It's one of my favorites, actually. Index finger on seven, the D string and the A string, and then second finger on eight on the E string. It's a really nice inversion for A minor. As is this for G, where I drop down with the index finger, fret five, the D string, the A string, and then the third finger comes over to the E string on fret seven. And then you can resolve it any way you want. That's a convenient way to do it. And conversely, the other thing to realize is that if you're playing a major chord, you can do it by going up a whole step. I'll demonstrate. C major. So all it takes is visualizing either the minor chord a whole step above or the major chord a whole step below and restricting yourself to triads.